Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in this small video I'm going to explain to you the functions of the lighting panel in the Antonov 225 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Note that this video is going to be quite a compressed version and I'm going to explain it the way that IndieBuilds has implemented it in the simulator, which is a little bit more basic than the real airplane. Also be aware that I am mostly going to relay it towards Western terms up here. So, we find the external lighting panel located on the forward overhead panel up here, and it basically consists of these switches. So, what do all those switches do? On the left hand side we have the navigation lights. Next to that we have the beacon, then we have the logo and wing lights, and we have the strobe light up to the right. You can see that the strobe light has several different positions here on the actual airplane, but in the simulator it is a simple on and off switch. Located down here we have the more or less runway turn off lights, at least that is how they function in the simulator. And now it becomes interesting. Now we have these switches over here. And in order to explain to you how they work, let's very quickly have a look at the different lights we have available on the outside of the Antonov. So, Starting from the front of the plane, we have those two lights located on the bottom of the nose up here. One here and one here. These are basically the taxi lights. Then if we go a little bit further along the fuselage of the plane, we can find our landing lights located down here and one on the other side of the plane located up here. So let's have a look at how these work. As we can see, by default, the taxi lights are in the retracted position in order to save drag on the airplane. Now if we go to the cockpit, we have the left hand switch, which basically extends or retracts the lights, and then we have the right hand switch, allowing us to turn the lights on or off. So looking outside again, right now our lights are retracted. Let's go ahead and extend them. Right now the switch is in the middle position, which is more or less the off position, and if we put it to the top position we can watch the lights extend. Let's have a look. And here they are extended. Once the lights are extended, put the switch back into the middle position in order to de-energize the motors. Similarly, we can retract the lights again by putting the switch into the lower position. Let's have a look. And here the lights are back in. Once again, once the lights are retracted, put the switch back into the middle position. Now, how do we operate them? If we want to turn on the taxi lights, first of all we got to extend them, keep the switch there for about 2 seconds and then put it back to the middle position. And finally, if we want to run the taxi lights, we take the right hand switch and put it into the lower position. Now this is what it looks like. You can see the taxi lights illuminated and if we have a quick look at the side of the plane, the landing lights are still turned off. Now let's go back into the flight deck, and if we want to switch on the landing lights, we are simply going to put the switch into the upper position, and now it looks like this, and you can see both the taxi lights, as well as the landing lights back there are illuminated. Now finally, if we want to turn the lights off again, put them back into the middle position, and then retract them, and once they are in, put the switch back into the neutral position. And this is basically how the lights work in the Antonov 225. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, then do let me know in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to hear from you what you think about this one. Thank you very much for watching, and see you all again hopefully very soon.